Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of Every Effect in After Effects Explained, we're going to be taking a look at the immersive video VR effects. So these are meant to be applied onto footage that was shot for 360 or virtual reality type of viewing. I have a full separate playlist on my channel where I shot some 360 footage using a special 360 camera. But you see the footage is a little bit wider than normal, it captures basically all angles and it's warped into a flat surface. So some of these effects like VR converter, for example, are meant to take this composited image that's been stitched together and allow you to change it in different ways. So we can change it to something like a sphere. If we were looking to do like a circular thing and you see how it's seamless, this is where the camera was on that little mount on the car. And now we have like a, a circular 360 globe or depending on the type of viewing experience we were sending it to we can map it out in different ways so this will be different depending on the program but simply it allows you to convert your 360 footage in different ways now although some of these effects are meant to be applied onto 360 footage not all of them need to be some of them can work just fine on regular footage for example the vr digital glitch this is a cool effect on its own, despite if it's a 360 clip or not. And remember, you can always animate the evolution or adjust the scale, size, and color of things. And other ones that can be applied onto just general clips as well is like VR Glow. It's similar to some other effects that we have, but again, it doesn't necessarily require that you have a 3D image to add a glow. Another cool one like that is VR Chromatic Aberrations. This is a quick way to do some channel separation, and this can be great on all type of clips, not even just VR. You can do it on a point of interest or invert around that point of interest. So that'll show where the aberrations will start or begin. We also have some generating effects like fractal noise, but you'll notice it has a different type of perspective meant to apply onto 360 video. So if I put this on a blending mode of overlay, for example, You'll see that it kind of matches this the stretch of this original video. But aside from those, you basically have your standard toolkit that you find in many of the other ones, but just meant for 360 video. So for example, we have more rotation and converting type of things. So you can change it from plane to sphere mode. You can change it from monoscopic to stereoscopic. Sometimes different programs have the left and right eye viewing an image at the same time. Some other controls we have are like rotating and adjusting the spheres or planes that we come up with. So if I want to pan it or something like that. You notice when I rotate this image, how it's completely seamless because it was shot with the 360 camera. So I can rotate it in these weird ways and it'll still all come together where you couldn't really do that with a normal clip. So this can be a way to replicate camera movement if you're not viewing it in a, like a player like YouTube where it allows you to click and drag the mouse and look around. But that's basically it. That's a basic introduction to what this immersive video section is for. We have some stuff that can be cool on just general clips and some that are meant to work and manipulate 360 clips. So if you want further in depth on this, I have a full playlist where I've shot 360 video and took it into editing software. And if you want, I also have a, a video in Premiere Pro where I went over those immersive video effects. In the next video of this series, we're going to be going over the keying effects. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. I'm going over every single effect in After Effects in this playlist. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.